Okay, uh, grande ice with your cookie made with oat milk. It's gonna be five fifty-seven. I'll give you the one. Though. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I got it. I don't know. I'm trying to like, I dug this camera you guys out from like the depths of hell. Like I don't know where it came from. I broke it like a year ago and I kept trying for like six months even um, to see if it would work and it didn't work. And then randomly I found it in my office like two days ago. I tried to op like turn it on and it worked. So I'm using it right now as my vlogging camera because I figured, oh shit, hold on. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? Thank you so much. Alrighty. This is not working today, you guys. The current Starbucks order right now is the Grande Sugar Cookie Latte with oat milk instead of almond milk. And it's very good. I think it like, I, I should start getting an extra shot in it because it's a little bit milky. And I like to taste the coffee a little bit more, but it is good. I'm being a little bit picky lately, lately with my coffee. Um, anyway, so I'm heading to my sister's right now. I just wanted to start the first day of Vlogmas. I think this is it. Well, the Vlogmas, whatever I'm gonna call it. Um, it's the first day of it. And we are just going to uh, go podcast. I think I'm gonna help her like hang a few things at her apartment and you'll get to see your kitties which are so cute um and we'll see so i'm going to drive i'm listening to the fluently forward podcast where they talk about um shannon is the host i follow her on tiktok and i love her so much and it's one of my favorite podcasts because they, she talks about blind items on celebrities which is one of my favorite topics i love celebrity gossip I love gossip in general, but especially celebrity gossip, you guys. I don't know what it is. I'm like a, I've always been like that. People used to tell me it's because I'm a Gemini. I don't know, but I love listening to it. Anyway, so I'm gonna listen to that. Uh, we're gonna head there. I got to Jamie's apartment actually quite a while ago, and we just went out and took some pictures for Instagram, and now we are about to actually finally podcast, but I'll show you. I wanna show you her apartment really quick. Like, we just redid a few things, and I wanna show you. So, I think you guys saw it when it really didn't have anything, but she redid this little area. She's getting rid of this Ikea shelf, um, and then this keeps coming up. We have to get another command strip, but her Maddie Healy poster, amazing. She always gets the posters at concerts, and I always, like, Never do, but they always look so good um, whenever she puts them up and stuff. If you recognize this rug, it's from my office. But I thought it fit this room so well, and it really does. It's perfect. Now, she actually, she thought she got a coffee table, but it turned it out it was this thing. I'll show you in a second. But look at all the things she just got. It's so cute. All from Target, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Jamie. Sorry, she was busy. Hello. I was just watching from afar. Yeah, she's creeping. Yep. All of this is from her... Target, Target, except these are from Ikea. Oh yeah, funny. so cute though. The garland, I love it. it literally looks like Pottery Marn. Um, and then this, look how vibey this looks, Jamie. It looks like so cute. It does. Um, if you can see this, we gave her a little zen area with all of her crystals and her sage, and these are um, yoga poses, and then this is her tarot deck, and then this is Uno. <laughs> um, you can't really see it, and then, can you see that? The mushroom lamp. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Isn't that the cutest? I think it was like, what, 10 or $15? Yeah, not a lot. No, not at all. But Look at my sunshine. I love her so much, you guys. This is Jamie's newest cat. I don't know if um you guys met her yet, but this is... Well, yeah, she... Yeah, you came with us, actually, oh, yeah. to get her. Well, I don't know if I showed much of her, but she's literally like the sweetest girl ever. And I just love her so he never. No, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not just telling you what he just did, but he looks so cute. This is happiness. I call him happiness. His real name is just happy. Eat. Eat. Okay, you guys, I just got home. I'm on my big camera now, like my actual camera. Let me know if the quality is different or not. I cannot tell, but I have quite a few packages here that I wanted to open with you guys. I felt like, I mean, why not? Tis the season of packages. And where's my other one? I thought I had one little one. Oh, here. I had one from Parade, which I'm really excited about um, because... I always love getting parade packages because it's like underwear, you know? Let me grab a knife. Um, that is still, this thing right here is one of my things from um, around Thanksgiving. I haven't put it away and I, we just have been busy, so I'm like, whatever. Um, well, let's see, first thing first, like I said, parade, gorgeous box. I always love their packaging. And I wanted to see because I didn't know exactly what they were sending. It's your parade in this little package. Um, if you don't know what parade is, they're a sustainable um, and very size inclusive um, underwear company. And they have this, I think it's their soft collection that they're sending. Um, let me see. Oh, cool. They're like pants or leggings and they feel really nice. They're really 
soft and lightweight. Cute. Okay, love that. Thank you, Parade. They're literally actually genuinely <laughs> my favorite underwear I've tried. I like them and I like Target, which is kind of like the spectrum. But, oh, let's see here. I know a lot of people talk about that. Let's see. This one, I believe. I don't know who it's from. Let's see. And I also have this Zevia. Live your best life, creamy root beer, naturally flavored. I literally purely just drink this because of the taste. I actually think that I first, that's a different story I probably couldn't get into, but um, I started drinking them in like high school. And ever since then, I've been obsessed with them. I found them at um, Costco and I was like so excited that Costco had them. So anyway, hi Betty, did you finish eating? Go eat your food. Okay, so here we go. We have the Nespresso and Joanna Ortiz. Um, I think this is their advent calendar. I went on their website and I went to go order our like restock of our Nespresso stuff and I saw that they had an advent calendar and I was like, I mean, that's probably the best advent calendar I could probably get. Um, but let's see, let's open it. It's in a very beautiful box. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. That is quite beautiful. Tomorrow, oh my god, it came right in time. Tomorrow is December 1st. This is probably going up a few days after, but look at that. Gorgeous. I love it. I'm really excited to try all these. I wonder what's in them. I have no clue. I have not tried anything, but I wanted to do that because I also have the um, Felix, a little puppy one, and then I also got these ones. These are our normal Master Create. I think this is just like a sample. Um, I did these ones instead of my normal because I figured maybe the normal was in there. I probably should have just ordered our... I usually get the double espresso Virtue ones, and they're like the darkest roast, I think. Um, but these are the gingerbread Nespresso's, and then this is the peppermint pinwheel um, Nespresso's, both limited editions, I believe. Oh, and then I have this thing which I want to open. Let's see, this is from Batten Home. Jared and I picked this out for in our bedroom and uh, I'm really excited. We've had it in our garage for a few days now and we just haven't opened it because we're not in a rush, but like that small, I thought they were bigger. Um, we both got little carafe sets to set next to our nightstand. Um, I'll open mine because I'm really excited to see space to feel comfortably you. I kept seeing these on Pinterest. I've seen them on like other places too, but we're always bringing like our big bulky water bottles upstairs to go to bed with. And I'm kind of just sick of it to be honest. I just wanted something that looks nicer on our nightstand. I saw it and I was like, um, they looked beautiful. And I think that they were on sale, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, these are so cute. I mean, they are smaller than I thought. I will say that. I thought they were going to be way bigger. Uh, I don't want to break this, but if you can see, it's like this, this rippled glass. And then you just like put your water in here and then you pour it and then you can drink it. And I just thought they would look nice on our nightstands rather than the other ones. So that is my unboxing. I think for right now, I got to clean this uh, mess up. Okay, also the house is a mess. Like... I mean, at least the couches. Um, anyway, but I wanted to show you this set that I'm wearing from Target. I found it. It's from Universal Thread, and I just thought it was so cute. I love the color. Matching two-piece set. I've been wearing it all day today with my Uggs, and I had to show it to you guys because I think you guys would like it. It's comfortable. It's cute. It's really cozy. I'm wearing a size large on top and then a size extra large on the bottom, which... I would say that they both run big because normally I'm like an extra large in the top and in the bottom. So pretty sure they had another color of it in their website, um, but I'm going to try to find it and link it down below. I'm just not used to filming on this camera. Um, right now I'm in my office. I have to like to get ready I keep wanting to wake up early and then I keep not and also I have to take off you know what maybe let me do that I gotta take off my nail polish and then Felix you want to lay down I got a new rug in my office I know I've been telling you guys I feel like I've said it in so many videos so many vlogs that I'm redoing my office and then we started like eight other projects so it was like oh yeah I'm gonna redo my office I'm gonna like paneling on the wall whatever and then I started doing the laundry room blah 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 so really quick I'm gonna take off my nail polish okay you guys I've never, I'm not really a nail person. If you guys have always seen my nails, they're always chipped. I do my, I try to paint my nails. I try to keep up with it. I hate going to the nail salon. And um, I found like my favorite nail polish remover that actually makes me take them off. It's this Olive and June 
stuff and you literally just like stick your finger in it and like swirl it around and then it's gone like in a second but anyway um i need to get ready i have to film i have to i just finished up some work i've been trying to wake up early so that i can like get work done and then i can like film my little vlogmas videos which i'm so excited about i don't know i just was thinking about it and i was watching some of my last year ones and i was like huh I was watching them and I was so excited for last year. I'm like, I'm even more excited for it this year. And this is the first like vlog vlog that's going up of it. And because I'm doing the rest, because I'm just not really, I'm not a good vlogger, I feel like. I try my best to be. I'm just not. Um, also, I hate editing my vlogs because I talk so rampily. And so, I don't know. But um, I'm going to use my moisturizer. I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to use my boots um, hyaluronic acid. I showed you guys this a while ago. I still love it. I think I'm almost out of it, yeah. I need to go get more. It's from Target. I didn't even know Target carried Boots products. I always heard all of like my, I'm pretty sure it's a British brand or like something because I always would hear all of the like London bloggers or British bloggers that I would watch or vloggers I should say. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have to do my makeup. I've just been doing like the most simple makeup and I feel like my skin has actually gotten so much better. Like after just not using products, which I never, ever, ever, ever believed anyone who said that I would be like, yeah, okay, sure. I'm sure you're just not wearing makeup and, or that sounds so nice, but it's like, I just have come to terms with my skin looks how it looks. And so I've been using like very sheer products if I do put products on and it's changed my life. Um, take it from someone, like I said, who did not believe anyone. I'm, I'm a skeptic when they say things about their skin and stuff like that. And also I'm just, I don't know, I go in phases of skincare and makeup and being obsessed with it. I mean, like most things in my life I go in phases with. And and I've just felt like lately for the past few months, I've just been so not into skin. And so I'm just going in with my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint on a dry, <laughs> no, I can't even say it. A dry beauty blender. And you guys are probably going to cringe because I know I'm not supposed to. I'm, I'm telling you I'm in a rush and I'm like, I don't have time. I just kind of do whatever. I'm not, I don't know. It turns out fine, whatever a very thin layer like i don't care if you can see my pimples through it i don't care whatever because eventually it turns into less pimples so it's like well i'm thinking for my future self <laughs> i did a, we did a podcast version or a podcast of something i think it was about procrastinating and we were talking a lot about like do now how it affects like your future self and things like that and how i'm like i don't care about my future self ever um but i'm trying to be better about that because i mean it saves me it is still me in the future um it saves me a lot of hassle so i just went in with that and i used a little bit of my kosis i need i need to make a small order i'm serious like, i literally spilled stuff all in my makeup bag skin serum all over you do this and then You know what these things smell like? The Maybelline um, Super Stay Ink Crayons. They smell like Christmas cookies. I know that because I just got a candle that smells like Christmas cookies. And it reminds me of that. I put a little bit of dry shampoo in and then I'm going to go eat and then I'll do my hair after. I like this. This is my Batiste Dry Shampoo Fresh Breezy Citrus. I, I really don't like dry shampoo. Like I like what it does, but I hate everything else about it how messy it is the smell so it's officially dandruff season and if you guys see dandruff in my hair please just ignore it i have like such a dry scalp i have dry skin in general i have like my dermatologist told me i was either eczema or the other one i can't think of the other name rosacea no not rosacea um i think it's eczema on my scalp and every season it's like seasonal every time it gets to be cold i start so i cannot wash my hair more than like twice a week or else it flips out um and i have to do like these hair masks i have to try something though i heard like the little chunks clip you guys always ask about these clips um this one and then my black and white one are from chunks i think it's the chunks shop i'll link it down below but i love them i love the owner our subway because i'm sure jared doesn't hear it his office is in the basement and so he never hears when he's here so i gotta go Okay, you guys, I finally got to film. Yes, 
Um, I just filmed the video and now I have to do laundry and I'm gonna run up to Duncan after, but uh, but I'm going to put a load of laundry in so that way I can, when I get back, I can just put it in the dryer, you know? Hey, you wanna go outside? You wanna maybe come to Duncan with me? Hi, um, may I please have two uh, medium iced hazelnut lattes with an extra shot of espresso in each, please? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, and then that's it. Alright, so 11.40. Okay, thank you. Looking to get a giant breed dog, or a Bernese Mountain Dog specifically. This is after walks, but we embrace it, don't we? I know, yeah. It was a hard decision. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's just for him, so it's okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just going to time lapse it. <laughs> Here's one of my ideas that I am definitely not doing, if you can see that. Um, I made a background of little, oops, of um, mini leggings and I hate it. So, uh, on to the next idea. Okay, and this is what we end up with and I hate it. So, we're gonna see about um, if we can find something to do tomorrow morning because it's, it's supposed to go out. And it's dark out. I wanted to take like a picture of my office or something, put it in the background. Ah! Crap. Anyway, that's what that is. Um, now I'm just waiting and Jared and I are about to eat um, in a little bit. And it is 8 p.m. So I've been working on this thumbnail for an hour and a half. And I'm to this spot where I hate it. And that's usually how it goes. I am very, I don't know. Thumbnails are hard for me because it's like I'm so picky with it and then I always forget while I'm filming it in the outfits to like think about it and so I screw myself over at the end, you know? Um, but not that you guys probably care about that. Um, I've got to think about this. I really have to. Maybe like a black background would be better. I don't know. Do you love it to a savage?